Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, uh, EscapeRoomElectronics.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is a prototype I've been working on. Uh, I call it the Tommy Knocker, and it's essentially a unit that, uh, well, in its current state, is just a prototype. I'm using one of my prototyping PCBs. Uh, it essentially uh, takes a, a knock pattern anywhere from uh, two knocks to nine knocks, and uh, it saves it. And then if you uh, if you knock the same knock again, and it's uh, it's, it accurately uh, mimics the saved knock, then what will happen is uh, a relay will turn on or something. I haven't decided yet. So the, the sequence of operations is uh, I plug it in, uh, knock however many knocks I want. It saves it. All of these LEDs will blink. I have all these LEDs on here so I could uh, test a uh, 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 two-by register. Uh, and then after after it saves it, I can knock again if it's a, an incorrect knock, all of it will blink again. If it's a correct knock, this LED will light up and stay on until I remove power. Again, this is just me in the prototyping stages. And my hands, I gotta say, they're pretty raw. I might end up for the demonstrations using uh, the back of a screwdriver just because I've just been knocking and knocking, my hands are killing me. So let's do a demonstration. So I'm gonna power it up. Okay, so it saved that. Let's hope, hopefully I can mimic that. Okay, so that one was accurate enough. Uh, there's a window of sensitivity per knock, and uh, let me just uh, show you uh, another example of uh, it not working. So at this point I have to remove power because I haven't programmed what it's going to do if you get a correct knock. Uh, let me just, um, I didn't actually expect it to work on the right, the, I didn't expect to be perfect the first time. So let me try it again. I'll program it in another knock. I, I removed power, plugged it in again. So let's try. Okay, so it's saved. Now let's try. Now, if I'm lucky, again, my hands are killing me. I'm sorry if this fails. Let's try it again. Ah, nice. We got it. So it's just, it's it saves the correct knock. In an escape room uh, scenario, ideally what the escape room owner would do, once I've got this completed, is they would take a tape recorder, record their knock, save it, and then leave it for the, uh, the players to find that tape recorder, play it back, and have them mimic the same knock on the uh, Tommy Knocker. Now this is, uh, Tommy Knocker is a name taken from a Stephen King book. It's a, a neat poem that I always like reciting. I'm not going to recite it now because it's it doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless you've read the book, but um, wh what I've got here is uh, uh, a piezo sensor, and I've just glued it down to my table so I can knock on my table. You can use epoxy, doesn't matter. This is some shrink wrap. I haven't actually shrunk it yet. Um, I could do that right now, but there's uh, really no point. So that plugs into the main board. Little processor right here acts as a, uh, a, a mini cheap processor that just does all of the analog to digital work. Uh, just so that the main processor doesn't have to do the analog to digital work and do all the counting and all the other processing. So uh, initially I just used the one processor and I got it working well enough but I wasn't happy with the overall product so I added in this little processor to do a completely separate function, feed the raw data essentially back to the main chip which does the rest. Now I've obviously got a relay slot right here, buzzer slot, uh, my final product might have some, uh, be able to play some audio bites. I haven't really decided yet, but I've wanted to do this for a long time. In fact, I did this about three and a half years ago using uh, one of these. And uh, it was very, very, very poor. It did not work at all because this is essentially just a, a little vibration switch. Whereas you can really interpret... Uh, signals coming from a piezo sensor much more accurately than one of these vibration sensors. So, uh, I've recently gotten into playing around with vibration with the uh, piezo sensors and they work quite well. So, it's been a lot of fun. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Just in the prototyping phase, I figured I'd show it off just to, uh, just because uh, I'm happy with it. I'm quite happy with it. So, if you haven't already, check us out at uh, escaperoomelectronics.com, paintballprops.com, and engineeringshot.com. All the links are below. Thank you all so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, have a great weekend. Take care.